Hi, I'm Kim, and welcome back to your Canyons News Micro. Firefighters work to stop the Jake fire from spreading any further. When the local food charity Santa Clarita Grocery launched two years ago, they had no idea their organization would grow so quickly. Founder Bradley Gross explains that because of COVID-19, they went from serving 40 families to 200 families a week. The process remains accessible, safe, and quick. We put a cone on their car and uh, they wait at their car in our, our volunteer shop or shop and bring it right to their car, load it in for them, and they're in and out within 10 minutes. They get consistent groceries from local grocery stores to ensure all food and supplies are fresh on pickup days. In that package, they get a gallon of milk, a dozen eggs, two boxes of mac and cheese, a box of cereal, and um, they get breads, we have deli, then the whole, today we gave an entire box of produce. Gross appreciates the resilience of his volunteers and encourages other SCV residents to visit their website and social media to find out how they can help. The coronavirus outbreak has prompted governments to tighten their policies on returning populations from overseas. For students studying abroad, a ticket home has become a rarity during this time. Niu Lu is a first-year student at College of the Canyons who came for a study abroad program, but after some consideration, he decided to go back home due to his parents' concerns. My parents found some connection back in China and got the ticket for the flight which sent me home. After landing in China, Lu says the customs were very strict on entry personnel and every person must fill out a health declaration before testing. Another student, Francis Yao, expressed his concerns. Turning to China is actually disturbing to me, which means that you need to make sure you can prepare to online classes every night or even early in the morning. If you miss school for a long period of time or 14 days of quarantine in the United States again, it is likely that your credit will be affected and you might not be able to graduate. It's not just students who have continued to struggle with the ongoing pandemic. A local business owner has watched his company come to a complete stop as the pandemic has slowed the traffic of his customers. Here's Cheryl to tell us more. In the wake of COVID-19, many businesses, especially small business, continue to suffer each and every day. Meet Donald Penny, the owner of a small limousine company who is currently taking a hard hit during this pandemic. I know it's a good thing to have, you know, to save people from contacting the virus, but to my business though, I knew social distancing would, you know, um, keep clients away from getting to my car because they might be scared and they might want to go with their own personal cars. He chooses to remain realistic and resilient. They need to find a vaccine, basically, a cure for, for the COVID, for the, for the virus, basically. If, if that doesn't happen, it's going to impact my business. Every day fluctuates, but in the end, he always chooses to have hope. For Kenya News, I'm sure at Penny. Paleta Please is a family-owned ice cream catering business local to Santa Clarita. They have tried to make safer at home orders just a little bit sweeter. Business owners Chris and Jesenia Pena have decided to adjust their business models by providing an ice cream delivery service for local events and residents. Recently, we started doing drive-by parade and because we run on dry ice, we don't need to be plugged in anywhere. Mm -hmm. So we can just roll onto the sidewalk and pass out ice cream to the guests that attend the parade. Along with delicious ice cream, customers also have the opportunity to donate 15% of the profit to support pastors and missionaries in Cancun, Mexico. Clients can also choose to feed families. So every year we do Christmas meals where we're with a pastor to be able to provide meals for families. Through their delivery service, Paleta Please hopes to serve and get to know the Santa Clarita community through the upcoming summer, while also giving back and helping end poverty in Mexico. That's all we have today from the Canyons Newsroom. Make sure to visit our website at canyonsnews.com and visit all of our social media to stay updated with Santa Clarita's latest. Thanks for tuning in. For Canyons News, I'm Kim Kreischak.